Today's topic is all about steps to use Accenture Teams and Outlook in mobile. As soon as you get onboarded into Accenture, you will be given a laptop for you to work. So it might be offline or online. So after getting your laptop, you need to interact with your HR manager or your teammates using Teams and for any important updates, they will be sending you mails through Outlook. So now everything became passwordless authentication. Uh, I heard most of the candidates are not able to open all check portal, all these things in personal laptops. So at initial stage, whatever laptop Accenture provided you before allocating into project, you will be using Teams in that particular laptop right but after getting into project sometimes you might not work in accenture laptop there will be two types of laptop one is accenture laptop which is initially given and another one would be your client laptop so client laptop in the sense uh, they won't uh, allow you to use accenture teams or outlook in that uh, client laptop and you are not supposed to use client related uh, apps or else any VDIs uh, I mean any IDs you should not install on Accenture laptop so these two conditions will be there so at this point of time uh, we can use I mean if we can use Accenture related teams and outlook in mobile uh, it will be helpful to you so that you can be in touch with both Accenture related things as well as your client related project things you might think that uh, installing Teams and Outlook uh, from Google Play Store is enough, but uh, office related, I mean Accenture related Teams or any other company related Teams and Outlook, you need to install using some uh, other apps like Intune company portal like that. So I'm going to explain you now. So if you are thinking about the passwordless authentication has been started and whether I'm able to uh, use this method or not, just you can try this if you can remember, like if you are... Uh, able to remember your password previously then it is easy method you can go ahead with so if you didn't remember password then uh, i hope it works or not i was not sure like you need to uh, get your password then only this can be applicable so now in order to get into the steps of the videos uh, a small request from my side if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please do subscribe and please like this video and also for your queries you can comment and if you have any personal queries you need to ask me you can ping me on instagram by following and also subscribe to telegram channel for more video updates now let us move to the rest of the video so please open your google play store in your mobile and type intune company portal so the first one uh, which is like Intune company portal you are able to see right so please click on that once you click on that uh, the app will be open like this please install that I have already installed so it is uh, open right so once you open this app uh, it will ask you to uh, send notifications you can click on yes or no then uh, you need to uh, click on sign in here so once you click on sign in you need to enter the accenture related email address that is provided to you okay it's not your personal one uh, at the end it should be like at the rate accenture.com like savip at the rate accenture.com like that and it will be sending you the uh, i mean password you need to enter after that it will be sending you an otp to your mobile after entering that it will be signing you in so once you uh, signed in it will uh, ask, uh, ask for you to accept the terms and conditions then you need to click on accept so once you click on accept uh, I mean this is to entry of the Intune company portal here you can find many Accenture related apps so Intune is providing you the apps related to Accenture like Accenture now Accenture support Accenture travel wallet always safe Microsoft authenticator Microsoft touch and OneDrive Outlook teams so in this what we need is like uh, if you can install anything you can install but for me I need Accenture Outlook and teams so I'm in uh, op I mean I'm clicking on Microsoft Outlook so here whatever app you need you can click on that but I'm going to click uh, Microsoft Outlook so once you click on Microsoft Outlook it will be uh, showing like this like view in Google Play now only you need to in open or install this one uh, like simply if you click on that it doesn't work from Intune portal only you need to install so you can allow or disallow notifications then click on add account you need to add your uh, company mail ID so once you add your company mail click on continue 
after continuing uh, it will be uh, asking you to register this device okay i mean that particular mobile device you want to register right so you need to click on that register your device it takes some time to configure your app status so once it gets configured right it will be then asking you for the uh, terms and conditions acceptance so you need to click on accept so once you click on accept button it will be redirected into a page where it will be asking you to add another account you can click on maybe later because your primary account is already there right so maybe later you can click then once you uh, click on that you need to activate your device administrator please click on activate button now here it asks to enter the verification code you need to enter that and then it asks again for activate please click on activate button so now after this it will verify like whether this device is supported and everything is up to date device is healthy like that and after this uh, green ticks you can see right uh, you need to click on continue so that you will be getting access to your outlook so after getting this access and click on continue you will be asked to set your security pin guys so please remember this security pin like in order to access your work or school data with uh, this app you need to set this so uh, it may be uh, like whatever it is but please remember while you are setting this and after setting click on ok so after clicking on ok you are all set to use your accenture related outlook in your mobile so this way you can install from intune portal the outlook app so what is the way to install the teams so same way please open uh, your intune portal and search for microsoft teams okay so once you search for microsoft teams it will be open like this please click on open and view in google play store right after viewing in google play store open or uh, then uh, allow your notifications if needed and once you click on allow your notifications uh, it will be showing theme like this and shows your existing account right already registered you can click on that existing account and once you click on existing account they will automatically sign you in because everything is registered device uh, because uh, in outlook we have set it right click on next again grant access and then click on continue and it will uh, ask you to uh, connect and determine the relative position okay click on allow for this as well with this you can see that uh, teams is installed on your mobile so uh, the process so oh, everything is completed registering all these things completed with outlook right so now for teams it will be simpler so with this uh, you can use both your teams and outlooks in your mobile guys and if you like this video please click the like button and do subscribe to this channel if you have any queries please comment in the comment section thanks for watching